There we go. It I is. think it's going now. Okay, so I don't think we have any topics on the schedule other than uh, status reports. So uh, perhaps we can start with uh, with Ankar and Ganesh if you guys are here. Uh, yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, so whichever, either one of you, if you'd like to go first, uh, go ahead. Uh, yeah, so good morning all. Uh, I was working on 631, 632, uh, 599. Uh, so this is regarding uh, exporter, uh, uh, the, the Jira top, Jira items I have created, uh, stories. Uh, so basically uh, I have done uh, coding for 631 and 632, that is logger, integrating logger with uh, exporter and uh, the Kafka topic management configuration. So probably uh, Scott, uh, if you can give me permission, I can quickly show uh, uh, a small five to seven minutes demonstrate. I can demonstrate. Uh, sure, that I can share my screen. Yeah, I'll share the screen if you permit. Yeah, I'll, I'll hand it off to you uh, now. Uh, there, you should okay. have it. Yes, I can. Okay, I think uh, is it is it visible now, Scott? Uh, yes, it's visible. Uh, is it, is okay, it big perfect. enough? Can everyone see? Yep. Okay, yep. great. Okay, great. So, um, so uh, right now, uh, the setup, my, my CBA in a box setup is not working. There's some issues. So what I can do here is quickly, I will show you uh, with the Docker container, uh, with the help of, uh, I can share the configuration file, the way we do using uh, you know, health charts and uh, config map. So here, what I do is uh, I have a Docker. Uh, for example, um, the earlier the older one, the original uh, Kafka topic exporter. It looks something like this when we run this Docker container, and when it uh, processes, let's say, a couple of topics here, we can see. So this is the one uh, which uh, which is the baseline from where I have started, uh, you know, working on for 6.31 where uh, we wanted to logger, 6.32 where we wanted to configure, uh, let's say here it is Volta KPIs and Onos KPIs, those are the topics which, have, which were hard-coded and uh, which were not configurable. Uh, so uh, what, what I can do here is, uh, I can use this new topic uh, where uh, my, my changes are there. Uh, I run this uh, container uh, and, uh, and I can probably, uh, you know, show you uh, how it looks when we have um, uh, my changes uh, incorporated. So I have done some uh, coding here uh, in the deployment part, as I said. I will uh, come later and the second thing important thing is about the target management so that is the another open item uh, that is pending so today whatever I'm going to show is uh, the scope is limited to 631 and 632 uh, so here it looks something like this uh, so there are logger so what happens here is there's a Kafka exporter dot log this is a uh, topic which is uh, available so these logs are pushed onto this topic uh, so my exporter is running uh, sorry my Kafka is running on the same machine same server and uh, this is the topic on which the logs will be pushed and uh, locally we can see this uh, info debug so right now right now uh, i have configured for the debug log so we can see this debug and i have configured only one topic that is ulta.kpis so this configuration is visible if you uh, see this uh, configuration file so as we have discussed earlier uh, so this configuration file is a is a json file so this will be uh, you know, available for the containers with the help of uh, config map, uh, Kubernetes config map. Uh, here, what I have is right now we can see uh, this is the broker details. We have host and uh, topic. So right now there is only one topic. Uh, let's say if we, if we want to add another topic, uh, let's say importer. I want to get uh, you know uh, uh, the KPIs from the importer topic. Uh, let's say our importer will be pushed into this particular topic or for that matter I can use onos.kpis. So for now I did uh, importer 
so once i have these changes so this is available in the volume so uh, just for this demo purpose uh, it will be done with the help of uh, um, uh, docker uh, volume management and the mounted file so i stop this container now uh, without changing or without uh, rebuilding this uh, com uh, exporter uh, we can uh, run again and the new changes configuration what we have made here uh, will will take uh, effect here um, uh, just a moment uh, this is unless you miss the comma in uh, json file yeah, yeah i think yes uh, so okay this is one point i think uh, i need to uh, yeah, handle this error it should display in the error log so anyway i'll do that and uh, this is how i start okay so uh, now we can see uh, there are two uh, these are the debug logs it won't be so much uh, logging uh, in, in real time it will be only info logs printed so the starting uh, topic for importer kpis and then uh, olta kpis so message i have printed just for uh, showing our uh, for uh, for our debug purpose uh, this is the message uh, which is put on the importer.kpi so we can just put this message and then pass on to uh, whatever parameters uh, we can pass on to the prometheus and the second is uh, uh, this is another message on olta.kpis uh, this is just a sample message i put uh, i can put the real message so it's a huge message so i didn't put there directly right now uh, but this will again uh, take this message and it will pass on to the prometheus so this is how uh, the idea was to make it configurable. Uh, we have uh, we have a provision here to put whatever data, uh, uh, whatever topics we want to observe, and even uh, uh, logs we can put here. So right now the host is same, same logger, uh, sorry, the same broker we are using to push our logs on the different topic that is Kafka exporter uh, logs. So uh, here there is a log level info. So right now uh, I, I did not show you this uh, info messages only. I just printed all the uh, debug logs for uh, so that we can understand. But uh, the, this is this log level is also implemented, where uh, if it is info, the only info will be pushed to the Kafka, and if it is debug, all the debug logs will be pushed. Um, yeah so this is about uh, you know uh, the the changes uh, if uh, if anybody has any question around this uh, so as I, as I mentioned earlier uh, the target management is something uh, which is the next item and the second thing is about uh, the deployment so the config map is uh, one uh, i'll be probably having this after code review and the third important point is about uh, uh, the data, what uh, what Dinesh has shared earlier um, about uh, the sample data uh, from the importer. So I put it as it is, uh, but uh, if Dinesh is on call, uh, I assume there will be some more parameters as well to this, uh, maybe the device parameters. Uh, so maybe if he's there, uh, he can add if there is something more or the exact message accordingly, we can have it further for the Pro Prometheus. Uh, Dinesh is out on PTO today. Okay, uh, okay no problem. I'll catch up with him. He, he said, you, I, I looked at the sample that he, he sent. This is one case, but I don't know if it applies to every case. I do agree with you on that one. Uh, uh, let, let's yeah. go back. But if you have any concerns, like on other cases, maybe that's potential issues, just send us so that we can uh, narrow the uh, search down a little bit. Uh, yes, yeah, sure. Yeah. I'll connect. I'll connect. For sure. yeah, no mm -hmm. yeah. So one one question I had is I'm I'm assuming there's custom code that needs to run for each uh, each topic that um, you know Volta KPIs will be different from Redfish KPIs, different from Onos KPIs. Is there is there something that links a particular translation code with a topic, or is that just implied by 
uh, what people have compiled into the uh, the exporter. You, you hit. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the question is about the uh, the exporter you are, you you are asking, right, on the Prometheus side. Yeah, so right now, yeah. uh, Scott. Uh, right now, uh, I have focused more on the listener. Uh, I, I mean, when when we we read from when we read messages from the uh, topics, uh, we we pick the message and we create a thread separate routine uh, to handle that message. And earlier it was completely hard coding and uh, functions were written. Now we have uh, a thread based on the number of topics configured. And those threads will handle those messages. So on the on the on one side where uh, we have to deal with the Kafka to read messages, that is taken care. And the other side, uh, uh, like Volta dot KPI, uh, there is exporter logic. So on the exporter side, I am I need to explore a little bit more and uh, continue on that uh, part. So uh, there will be separate ticket I will create on Jira for that. Okay. Okay. Got it. Sounds good. Yeah. So so uh, this is Sean. Uh, so what is the day in the Volta.kpi today? Is, is there such a – is that a, it's just a placeholder, or do we already have a file of the Volta.kpi already defined? Yeah, Volta.kpi and Onos.kpi, these are already deployed. Uh, I have changed uh, some internal architecture for the exporter. Uh, that is the only change. Otherwise, the functionality-wise or the or the statistics what we get uh, is intact. Right now, uh, the same thing. So we have not changed anything. And when we uh, when we uh, create a new uh, task for this on the exporter, so probably there will be some internal changes. Uh, but uh, I don't see so much there on Volta and KPI, uh, Volta and Onos KPI. Those are already working. So there will be new thing. Uh, for example, here I have given name importer dot KPIs. So we can have some di different name as well if uh, if everybody suggests. Uh, but this is the main goal uh, that is 599 uh, Jira, uh, on which we want to get this uh, device information uh, from importer and publish to Prometheus. Um, yeah, I need to look into that Volta that KPI. Does it include all the ONOS, not ONOS, the OLT, ONT device, you know, all, all the events if we enable them? Um, uh, so the right now, whatever is available, uh, so I did not touch, uh, but yes, uh, we can uh, we can have if there is any recommendation. Uh, so I have the message format. Uh, okay, probably I'll show you in the proper format here. I have, uh, yeah, this is the uh, ultra dot KPI. Uh, the this is the message we see, and there are slice data. A lot of information is there inside this. Uh, we do uh, go with every uh, data here, and we publish uh, the TX and RX uh, related information. So. Um, so is your question about uh, uh, what all we uh, we published to Prometheus or uh, are we handling no, 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 it? I, I'm wondering yeah. uh, how the <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe I'm a little bit wrong here. Um, is the Volta KPI is something is the live data or is something we try need to define? That that's whatever I receive. Right. It's, and... Yeah, in my understanding, it's live data which is pushed to Kafka. Okay. Yeah, and, yeah, John. Uh, we have export. Yeah, please go. Ahead. Yeah, it is. It is live data, and I think we've done previous demos where we've showed Prometheus, and we've had traffic um, going through an OLT or through an ONU. And you know, uh, I think Mateo's done this demo where he's shown the graphs in Prometheus. So it's all, all of that is live data. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Okay. So, so are you on the previous uh, recording, is that right? Uh, pardon? Or different, different uh, session or different demo? 
Uh, the demo I was talking about that Mateo did, that would have been during a SEBA call some some months ago. Um, okay. I'll I could try to dig that up. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. That's... Okay, great. Thanks. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's all, uh, Scott. Um... Yeah, I, I think, uh, Ganesh, I think these changes look uh, really good. Um, yeah, I, I, I think this will be useful. Uh, if you can get it into code review, we'll, we'll get it reviewed. And, and um, it looks like we've made great progress on these items. Uh, yeah, thank you, Scott. Uh, these, uh, these logs are available on this uh, broker topic as well. So yeah, I'll raise the review request and uh, then I'll proceed on the other part. Okay, sounds good. Okay, yeah, thank you. <laughs> and then Scott, potentially, um, again, it's maybe I'm wondering whether your demo or this this progress can also be uh, do a demo again, or at least we can uh, share the recording or something uh, during the Volta call. Um, uh, I, I I I I think that may stir up some discussions. So 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 not not everybody in the Volta community or you know uh, on this call. So. Again, uh, maybe if you don't mind, I'll re I'll invite you to the Volta call sometimes in the near future. Okay. Uh, yes, Sean, no problem. We can do it. Uh, so if uh, we have a couple of a couple of weeks time, so that it can be end to end demonstration on the target management as well, so that I can show them on the Prometheus and the real uh, uh, setup. So uh, that that's perfectly fine. We can do it. Okay, you said in a couple of weeks? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, what I'll see is, uh, so right now the, the deployment and the target uh, management. So uh, that part I can look for some time and uh, we, we might plan for end to end. Uh, whatever is possibility, whatever uh, readiness we have, we can do it uh, in a couple of weeks, no problem. Okay, great, thanks. Yeah, yeah. okay, Sean, thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, then I, I suppose we can uh, transition to uh, Oncar. Do you uh, do you wish to present Oncar? Uh, uh, no, uh, Scott. Actually, I just wanted to give my status. Uh, so basically, I have uh, two updates for you. The first would be like uh, the Matt has suggested a way to validate the ONU output. And uh, in our lab, uh, we have validated the uh, output in the same way he suggested. And uh, we are getting the uh, values which is really matched one. This is the first update. The second update about the uh, which like uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just going through the like uh, uh, adding the flows from the uh, like uh, basically I'm doing the code with the open open OMCI agent and I have integrated my code but I'm getting uh, two errors. The first would be like uh, basically it's a frame decoded error, error I'm getting. Uh, whenever the like uh, OMCI test response is coming from the OLD side, so basically it is I am getting that error, so I am debugging that issue. And the second error I am getting is the uh, like watch watch time uh, watchdog timeout. So basically I am debugging that two two issues. Once that two issues get uh, you know uh, 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 I, I if I if I found the root cause of it, then I'll definitely close it in a couple of days, and I can give you the PR for code review. Okay, that sounds right. So you're, or that sounds good. Um, so your first point was that you did validate all of the data you're fetching, and it is, it is all correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Great. So only thing is, uh, while decoding the test response uh, OMCI frame, I'm getting frame decoded. So I'm just uh, finding the root cause. How we can uh, do it with the Scapri, so that once it get fixed, then I may give you the PR for uh, review. Okay, that'll be great. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, do we have do we have anyone from Edgecore who'd like to talk about um, Redfish importer status or do we just want to hold that for uh, next time when uh, when Dinesh is available? 
We can do either way. Um, we divided the work into two, two pieces. Uh, one is on the OLT side, where the, the Redfish is being implemented, the PSME. Uh, the implementation of the changes for the event handling is done. Uh, the testing with the OLT on the unit level level is done. Um, the next thing is, as soon as the uh, importer is ready, we are going to go down and do an end-to-end -end testing. That will include the uh, setting the events, uh, disabling, enabling the events, receiving the data, and pushing it back out to Kafka bus. Um, for the, what do you call, uh, importer side itself is, uh, we have an automated uh, build environment ready, so engineers now can pull a AWS instance. It's, it's already set up. It pulls the Sonic, um, sorry, Volta. Uh, it builds everything. It put, puts the uh, initial uh, framework for the importer itself. Uh, now we are about to start working on the individual pieces of the importer. This is what we are going to do this week. Okay, great. Yeah, can you guys, um, if you haven't already, can you update uh, Jira to show which uh, which tasks you're going to be putting in progress? Right, right. Um, every, everything is already updated. Okay, great, perfect. Yeah, I haven't I haven't checked yet this morning, but um, great. Yeah, perfect. thanks a lot for that. Don't worry about it. Is there anything else anyone would like to uh, discuss this morning? Cool. Okay, if we'll that's it, I, I'll go ahead. Talk to you guys next week then, sorry. Yeah, yeah, thanks a lot everyone and we'll talk again next time. Hey, uh, Scott? Sure. The the next week is the memorial weekend for it, for the United States, right? Oh yeah, I don't uh, I don't follow holidays that close. They usually sneak up on me. So yeah, let me. Um, it would people like to postpone and do it on uh, a different day, say Tuesday or Wednesday? Because yeah, we uh, we won't be we probably won't be available on Monday. Uh, Ganesh, Ankar, is is any one of those days, Tuesday, Wednesday, would either of those work for you? Mm, yeah. I, I think uh, Tuesday we have Siva call as well, right? So how about Wednesday, if uh, everybody is okay? I, I don't mind either way. Okay, yeah, let's move. I'll, uh, I'll make a note that we'll move the meeting to uh, Wednesday of next week. Okay. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks very much for pointing that out, uh, Sean. Oh, no problem. See you on Wednesday. Bye. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah. See you guys next Wednesday. Bye. Bye everyone. <laughs>